and Tataki dearest. Since Valentine's is right around the corner, I know some of you are looking forward to spending time with your significant other. While in the meantime, a lot of you may be celebrating either forever alone or together alone. And for those people, I figure I introduce you all to an anime that will at least make you feel, wow, I, I may I may be single, but at least I'm not this desperate. Maybe others of you will be like, <laughs> uh, this is why I'm single. And based off a very handful of reviews, some of you may crucify me for this video because you're all like, this is fantastic. This is exactly what I need. I don't know what you're talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, let me put my hand on your shoulder here. I would like to introduce you to an anime called One Room. This is a currently ongoing anime where each episode averages around four minutes and it is filmed in the point of view perspective where you finally get to play the protagonist spending time with three different girls, each with a different motive, and each one with absolutely no respect for your personal time and just walk into your apartment whenever they feel like it. All right, so um, let's just go kick it with this first episode with Hanasaku Yui. This is a girl who shows up at your door and offers you a gift as a first impression in becoming your new neighbor. The one thing that strikes me about this again is the point of view perspective. Like I know, those shots are intended for aesthetics and to just bask in the art style of it, but if you're gonna go with POV format, I suggest that you stick with it. Now the first episode is quite literally just an introduction to her at your door. You examine her and in the scene it's quite clear that you're not being sneaky about it at all. And taking from her expression, I'm guessing she finds it very flattering that you spent a while checking her out. You end up skipping an entire day only to walk back to your place and you basically just end the episode exactly where you started. And what's weirder is that 99% of the time you're going to be sitting there awkwardly silent as she's talking to you. But I guess just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna try and respond to her. Uh, I never really asked that, but okay, uh, go ahead. Uh, it's fine, you know, I'm just pretty much failing every class anyway. Uh, okay. Oh, well, I mean, I just said I was failing every class, so I don't know if I'm exactly qualified, but I mean, if you insist, sure. What, the, what? What? That was the most awkward way to end an episode? This anime just went south really quickly. Alright, well, let's just check out episode two. Oh, look, we're studying together. What problem? The homework? This entire anime? Or the fact that you've invited yourself into my house? Sure, it'll be about $20 for every 30 minutes. Um, together? Because I thought we just met. Yeah, uh, no problem, but I didn't really agree to anything. You sort of just invited yourself. Kind of how, like, you invited yourself to my house. Fam, when I'm clean, I'm done and I'm out of there, so, uh, you, you can perfectly go home by yourself. No! Ugh, god damn it. This entire anime doesn't even make me feel like I'm interacting at all. In fact, it makes me feel like I'm watching a more messed up Dora the Explorer. Alright, so, on to episode 3. It starts off with, oh look, there she is again, and... Wait, what? No, don't you have your own kitchen? You know what? Whatever. I give up. Like, doesn't this girl have a family that attends to her? Or at least just her own place that's literally right next to mine? I mean, like, I know she likes me, but I'm just waiting for that yandere scene to happen. Oh, no. Okay, one, you're in my house, and two, it doesn't look like you complained earlier when I was blatantly just staring at your breasts. It tastes like rat poison. As always, I've given you absolutely no permission, but you're welcome for nothing. Oh no, y you found my porn. I guess that means you want to leave, don't you? Oh, 
Wow, uh, this is literally the first positive thing that I found about this anime. In a typical anime, by this point, I would have either been punched in the face or she would have been too naive to understand what that magazine was. So the fact that you're not only understanding, but you're also knowledgeable in what you're looking at, that's a plus from me. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's what happens when you get tutored by someone who's failing. What the hell? You studied for like five seconds and you went to sleep. No wonder you didn't get into the university. Huh, that's like the first time you've apologized since you've been here. Oh, look at that. I even made you two cups of coffee that you... You didn't even drink. All right, this is the last episode where we get to deal with her. And great, look, she decided to mark the date of her exam on my calendar. Hmm, you know, just to get my point across, I think I'll just take this calendar to her place. Oh, hey, there you are. Here, I found this thing. It's supposed to give you luck in academics. Oh, no, it's fine. Like, I figured you're gonna need all the help you can get considering of, like, your incredibly shitty studying habits. Yeah, no worries. Oh, and by the way, my pubes are in there too, just to add another hint of luck, so enjoy. Yeah, I'll just uh, wait in this tree just to see how you do on your exam. Hey, how did you do? Oh no, did you fail? Oh, I, I guess not. Well, good to know that the pubes worked. All right, so she's gonna start taking me through the park. No worries, it's not like I have a extreme hay fever or anything. Oh, she stopped. I, I guess she's gonna ask us some questions. I would mind, actually. And why am I observing you from behind a tree? I'd rather not, considering you kept laughing at my dick size. Absolutely not. What? So tell me, does this anime make you feel better? Or have I tainted your mind with something you probably didn't need to see? Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy holid- no, not holidays, Valentine's! Valentine's! I hope I introduced a nice little anime for you to watch on Valentine's Day. So, I appreciate you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more anime and otaku-related content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!